This video is sponsored by Narrative. Today, we're going to be comparing two 35 millimeter lenses for the Sony E-mount system. So I have the Sony G Master 35 millimeter 1.4, and we're going to be putting it up against the Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4 DG DN. I'll be testing these two lenses out in a portrait situation. So I have a little shoot planned with my friend Maria and I'm gonna be rolling the behind the scenes from that shoot. And I guess comparing these two lenses in more of a real world situation. So what the images actually look like side by side, whether you can tell the difference or there's certain characteristics that make these lenses differ from one another. I'll be putting up some side by side comparisons of edited and unedited photos. I'm about to head down to the beach now and I will see you guys soon. And just a touch closer to you. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good. Love that. I'll get you like sitting here in this grass. Bring this leg in a little bit. I'll probably um, do like a similar kind of thing that we just did, but you can stay, actually stay standing up, that was kind of cool, sorry. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's be real here for a second. Importing and sifting through all your photos from a photo shoot can be really time consuming. But Narrative Select is the fastest way to cull your photos so that you only import the ones that you actually want to edit into your editing software. You can import hundreds of photos in just seconds and begin selecting your favorites with fast loading previews. Select will help you out by detecting which photos are out of focus when your subject has their eyes closed or even is mid blink. You can filter the photos automatically by sharpness or if you like me, you can go through and check yourself using their face detection crop view. When you're done, hit the ship button and then this is going to send only the selected photos straight to a brand new catalog or your existing catalog so you can start editing straight away. Narrative Select has saved me a ton of time. Why wait for previews to load on photos that you aren't going to edit anyway? The best thing about Select is that it's completely free. Enjoy all of the premium features of Select for up to six projects a month using the link down in the description below. I'm a big fan of this app guys so I really hope you check it out. Switching over to the Sony now. Yep, and then just looking here. Solid. 
green kind of background, so I'm just stand here. This is cool, just using these leaves as like foreground. It's really cool. Yeah, it's cool. Love that. That's sick, yeah, keep doing that. All right, so all done with the shoot. I'd love to hear from you guys. What did you think? Which of these two 35 millimeter lenses did you prefer? Did you like one over the other? Let me know down in the comments section below. And I also wanna say a massive thank you to Maria for being in front of the camera and also to Gerard for filming all the behind the scenes. If you like the way I edited these photos, I also have a preset pack that you can download, which is linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.